Hi YouTubers, this is Steve Bradley uh, talking to you from the God Loves People YouTube channel and I wanted to talk today about uh, barriers to eternal life. <clears throat> now, if you think about it, Jesus said in John 5 24, He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Now that means that you start at a point of death. You don't start at a point of life. So how did that happen? How come there is this barrier that's broken by believing in Jesus Christ? How come that happens? Well, if we look to the book of Genesis, in the third chapter, we find that when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, some things happened to them that God said would happen. Earlier in the book of Genesis, God had said, look, if you eat from this tree, you're going to die. And so when Adam and Eve both ate from that tree, they began a process that ended in death for every member of the human race. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it's super important for you to understand why we don't all have eternal life to start with. So here we go. Um, when Adam and Eve ate of that fruit, they died in four interconnected but separate ways. The first one is they began to die physically. Now we kind of know that because there are a lot of graves and cemeteries around. And it seems like everyone goes there. But what God told Adam was going to happen was he would start a process. That when he ate of the fruit of that tree, he said, dying, you will die. So it began a process of death that ends in death for every human being. However, the second thing is they immediately died spiritually. Because when God comes to look for Adam after he had eaten of the fruit of that tree, Adam hides. He doesn't want to see God. He doesn't want to talk to him. He is not interested in God. Please go away. Don't bother me anymore. I'm afraid of you. So what had been a relationship of love now turns into a non-relationship involving fear. The third thing is that all the human race became subject to what we call eternal death. And we'll talk about that another time. But for right now, that means that you don't get to live with God in heaven at all. So they also changed so that their new reality was passed on to the people who followed them, whom they bore. So for example, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, um, God, say, God says, or Moses says in that, he says, God took the dust of the earth and he made him a man and prior to that God had said let's make man in our image after our likeness on the other hand when uh, Adam had a son it says Adam bore us brought forth a son in his own likeness in other words what he was like now every human being since with one exception has had to live with this reality. So that when Jesus said, once you believe, you pass from death into life, he means you've broken the barriers from death, the death that kept you away from eternal life, into the life that God has for you. So the barriers are these. Number one, physical death. Number two, spiritual death number three, eternal death, and number four, we all pass it on. And the sad thing about it is, when we're spiritually dead, we don't know God. We don't want God. We can't hear from God. We can't experience God. We can't encounter God. God actually has to reach down from heaven and say, hey, you want to be with me forever? Believe in my son. And so, when we talk about these matters in the next video, what I'm going to talk about is how God 
set his plan in motion to bring about eternal life for you and me so that we can live forever with God in heaven and so that we can have eternal life now because Jesus said he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has present tense everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but has passed from death into life and so the reality is that Jesus Christ who calls you today to be with him has the keys of death and of hell he has the keys of eternal life and he is willing to open the door to eternal life to you today this is Steve Bradley signing off for the God Loves People YouTube channel and hope you have a wonderful day. God richly blesses you and I encourage you to seek God through his son, Jesus Christ, because he is the greatest treasure in the universe.